Welcome back to Set Streets and These Guys. I'm Chris Bauer. I am in San Bernardino, California, in front of the very first McDonald's location, which is now a museum. I am here to tour the museum, not to get a burger, because they don't serve those here anymore. They just serve memories. That's right, they serve memories here at the first McDonald's. It was opened by the McDonald Brothers here in 1940. They opened this as a barbecue restaurant. Um, and then by 1948, they had had the genius idea. They didn't know it was genius then. To close their very successful barbecue restaurant, fire all their bellhops, and to uh, retool the kitchen. And uh, make it a walk-up kitchen with a new mascot named Speedy and they were gonna sell burgers, fries, milkshakes. That is it. It was gonna be super cheap. You were gonna get your food very quickly. Go back to your homes or your cars or wherever else. They didn't care. You weren't gonna eat it there. And get out of their hair and they were gonna keep churning them out. And it completely changed how we ate food here in America. This is a pretty awesome museum. I was here once before, years before I started my blog. Uh, just because I'm a nerd and I love pop culture history. Which is probably why I ended up starting this vlog. So I'm excited to be back. I'm excited to take you guys in there with me. And I hope you guys will join me. Let's go check it out. that would put the four points and of course the speedy doll that's pretty cool some of the original grill scrapers Captain Croc uh -uh. juicer one of the root beer these are some of the original employees. That's awesome. That worked right in this property. <laughs> That's cool. That's really cool. Oh uh, yeah, there's the old family crest. We've seen that in some of the old signs. There's one of the shake machines Ray Kroc used to sell. There's one of the watches I found at an antique store. Uh, okay, that's the set, that little sign. I found one of those signs at an antique store, so that's the, that must be the little place that it goes to. That's interesting. I'll have to keep an eye out for that piece. I like that belt, that's pretty cool. And those pins. Seen one of those cookie jars in the antique store too. Oh yeah, remember those cookies? Oh man, the only McDonald's pizza. Just picked up a set of those cups, the uh, Garfield cups, at a comic convention.
those old ornaments are awesome. 83, 88, or oh, 68. Wow. Wow, those are cool. 1970, 1971. That's amazing. That is really neat. The old building used to sit right here on this property. The original. Changeables. That's a cool display. I've seen one of these for sale at an antique store. These are some of the props from the movie The Founder. Happy Meal boxes. More Happy Meal tones. Barbies. Oh, they got all these little displays up there. Happy Meal displays. Those are really neat. What is Jasper doing in here? <laughs> hey Jasper. What? There's a Jasper T Chowls here. Okay. That's interesting. And it's a lamp. Check that out. So there's a Jasper T Gels lamp out there, and I didn't even know that existed. Comment below if you guys have seen this before. Is this a custom thing? Like, like the, did someone make that out of the stuffed animal? Or did they actually sell a lamp? Because that looks kind of custom. Yeah, that's got to be custom. That doesn't look like that was sold in the restaurant. Wow. That's one of a kind. That's pretty funny. Man, I got tons and tons of stuff in here. That's amazing. If you add up the thousands upon thousands, probably tens of thousands of Happy Meal toys out there. I mean, you guys already know. There's clearly books written about them, price guides, all that stuff. It's, it's staggering how much stuff is out there really is what's staggering to me is it's all within my lifetime happy meals were tested started testing the year i was born and then came out in 1979 and i've been going my entire life it's crazy Man. it's crazy and these are all the international ones we only see the ones that are here in America. I've definitely seen those Dalmatian sets for sale online. Those big suitcase sets. I love these tray sets. I think those are the neatest things. All little combs. Those are cool. I've still got a full set of the Star Wars. Revenge of the Sith uh, Star Wars toys Burger King set. Whole set of those. 
Look at that Burger King place that they got in here. That's funny. Star Trek 2 or 3 glasses. That's kind of cool. All these different other uh, fast food chain kids' meals. I guess they're kind of in here to show that Happy Meal inspired them all. <clears throat> Even now, Burger Chef really inspired the Happy Meal. Burger Chef started their kid's meal, um, I believe in 1974. And Burger Chef was arguably a bigger chain, or at least close to being a bigger chain. Yeah, in fact, they've got one. Fun meal. Because they had the Star Wars license. There it is. The fun meal. Um, that's from Burger Chef. They had the poster set, and uh, they had inspired the Happy Meal. <clears throat> it's interesting. It's pretty cool. Pretty big international section they have now. All these toys. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. That's cool. I remember those. Making movies. gift certificates, little books of them, we see them for our birthdays, and little bags, I remember those, I remember these, definitely remember these, for pictures that's pretty cool oh, yes. the old apple pie tree McDonald's land Got one of the old one of the old cheeseburger grove statues. You got the yellow cups, the Muppet cups, and then the McDonald character cup glasses. All oh, the old quarter pounder packaging, all oh, these old ashtrays. Those used to be on every table. 
absolutely remember that on what packaging. Oh, I remember the gift certificates for Halloween. You used to get those when you were trick or treating. And the comics, I remember those. And the Halloween bags. <clears throat> That takes me back. Hello, Ronald. That's the packaging of my whole childhood growing up. That's how it looked. That's how it looked too, right there. Styrofoam. Except for the Twin Peaks McNugget box. That's how the pies looked. That's crazy. That's straight out of the 80s right there. That's awesome. I remember these hand puppets too. I used to get those at yard sales when I was a kid. So check these out. So these are the round topped Happy Meal boxes that I was able to find at that antique store. I've got all three of these. I've got those two right here in duplicate and they're nice and flattened and in mint condition isn't that amazing for two bucks a piece unbelievable pretty crazy and see this was the stuff that came with them these little erasers and uh, school supplies it's pretty cool cool watching the evolution of the Happy Meal over the years. I really like to find the magic tricks because I remember the magic tricks when I was a kid and they would have come out in the early 80s. It would be interesting to see if they have them here. the grimace so when you pulled it out I think it went like blank or I can't remember exactly what it did but that was a magic trick so you would like do that yeah there it is the magic show happy meal that's the one I remember that came out in 85 look at that isn't it crazy wow that's the one huh I can't believe it Ghostbusters, that's cool. <laughs> Look at those fries. Get you some. Yummy yum. Back to the future. It's all early 90s. early 90s cups and logo that cursive logo that was everywhere the make break card I don't remember that it was almost like their own credit card <laughs> Mats.
Grimace walk around costume. Oh. Check that out. The old McDonald's shirts. How stained up they are. Old McDonald's logos on them. That's crazy. Wow. That's pretty cool. <clears throat> Look at this, the packaging. Okay, there. And of course, the beanie babies everyone keeps thinking are worth a billion dollars that are worthless. Look at this, banana pie. Never saw that here. That's definitely international. So behind here they have one of those old posters. I've seen the artwork for it. It's not even displayed in here, but it's the old McDonald's poster. They gave these out, I forget when and why, but they're the coolest old posters. I would love one of those. I know they reprint them and sell them all the time. Those are the original. I want to see what they have on the front of this right now. It's behind the display. Ronald. Oh, it's the back of the 1974 calendar. That's interesting. I wonder if, so that's what it is. Wow. So I wonder if that came on, came with the 1974 calendar, maybe? Wow. I'll have to keep my eye out for that. That's awesome. These are cool. Look at that little video game. Look at these clocks. How cool are these? crazy that we have cases that say COVID years. <laughs> Priority in museums. But it's true. Uh -uh. Wow. On in Grimace's birthday. That's happening right now. Uh -oh. So yeah, that's another one of those little signs I found. So that's a Christmas one. I've definitely seen that before. Ah, oh, there's those old, uh, I've heard about those. The shavers from the early 80s. These play sets are so cool. Play-Doh is the best. Look at all the little packaging. Look at the Big Mac packaging. And the fries. The Barbie, oh, the little cake. You got the normal McDonald cake. Oh yeah. You got the little mini cookies. Miss the cookie boxes. McFlurry Maker. Oh, look at the trays. That's cool. French Fry Maker. That's awesome. Captain Crook. So cool. It's Officer Mac. Officer Mac, have you trapped any children in your hotter 
than life jail today. I swear to God, anytime I ever got into this thing when I was a kid. You see, in the 80s, nobody thought to cover any, any of their playlands with any kind of cover. So this thing would be out in the sun all day. And you'd climb up right in there. And when you touched here, oh, sweet Jesus. It was molten lava. By the time you got to the bars, it was just like hot potato, hot potato, hot potato, hot potato. And then you would try to get out. By then, you were on fire. That's right. Your entire body. Full flames. Um, you burned out pretty quickly. And then, you know, then the pain went away because you couldn't feel anything anymore. So, it all worked out. But, yeah. Had a lot of fun in there. What's really fun, let all your friends go in first and then block the hole so they couldn't come out when they were on fire. God, I missed the 80s. Fry guys. Is that a Mr. Toad's Wild Ride? No, it's a jalopy from Route 66. It's the Hamburglar. Why they gotta be picking on people with the buck teeth? Come on, man. You're a good dude. You're just hungry. Sup, Grimace? Evil Grimace. Apple pie tree. A little faded, need some repainting. Some randos, Bugs Bunny, a very random, very random mystery machine. And for no reason whatsoever, a ski -doo. along with another Big Mac over here. Some more Looney Tune characters. Oh yeah. I remember one McDonald's had this. Little crawl thing, little crawl burgers. Always on the ground. Get to crawl through them. Loads of fun. Got the mystery machines. If you hadn't gathered, this is a freebie museum um, that you can just come to. It's basically a large collection of McDonald's memorabilia. Now, what makes this museum interesting is it's owned by Polo Loco. Polo Loco is, I believe, a California-based, they're probably in other states now, um, Mexican chicken chain, fast food chain. Uh, very delicious. Uh, Oh, they are very delicious. They look expensive for my taste because it's basically Taco Bell food, but like double the price. Nothing wrong with their food. Their food's very delicious. But because I didn't grow up on it, I'm like, why am I paying double for the same food I can get at Taco Bell? That's just me. Quit screaming at your phone that I'm an idiot. I am an idiot, but I didn't grow up. So I don't know quality ingredients. I'm used to the trashiness of Taco Bell. So I'd rather pay half the price. Anyway, the owner was a uh, aficionado of McDonald's, a uh, big fan. Uh, once he started Polo Loco, he opened this museum. Well, he bought the property that the first McDonald's was on. And what's cool is half of this building is actually the corporate offices of Polo Loco. So this is the world headquarters for another fast food chain but it's also the first McDonald's museum. It's kind of cool. It's kind of a full circle thing. I'm sure there's an homage there, so I just think it's neat. But anywho, hope you enjoyed my stop here at the first McDonald's museum. Um, again, this is my second time here. I really enjoyed it. I loved it. I love coming back to this place. Now that I've uh, kind of dipped my toe into the collecting part of this, seen what they have in there is oye bay they got some goods um anywho so all right if you guys haven't been out here come on by it's free open every day 10 to 5 and uh you should come see what they got it's very cool 
they're always adding new stuff to it and uh and you're on hollowed ground man i mean there isn't really a soul alive that's not eating at a mcdonald's i mean it's just kind of ground zero for <laughs> obesity in america sorry but it is i mean i mean just saying i'm like a hundred pounds of me i owe to this spot so maybe 200. i don't know either way hope you enjoyed this stuff thanks for watching set streets and eats i'll see you at the next one bye